Howdy howdy, my name is John, and this video is my reading wrap-up for the months of June, July, August, and September of 2023. The first book I finished was Foundation and Empire by Isaac Asimov. This is the second book in his Foundation trilogy. I did enjoy this book, not quite as much as I enjoyed the first one. Uh, I gave the second one f uh, four stars. These novels are, are, are more kind of political thrillers um, or political um, commentary. And I think the first book with the five stories worked better for me than the two longer stories in this one. Um, but still, it's a very fascinating read. And uh, I do recommend you checking out the trilogy. The next book I finished was Half Human Heroes. This is edited by Jeremy Fee, and there's a story in here by Jeremy. Um, there's uh, also stories by a lot of other booktubers as well. Uh, I did a, a dedicated review and tag video for this book already, which I'll link in the description. Uh, the one thing I didn't do in that video was write the book. Um, the book overall, I did give four stars. Uh, I did highly enjoy reading this. Uh, I'm in a mixture of uh, one five-star read, uh, a good handful of four-star reads, and then a, a few uh, three-star reads. So definitely worth checking out. The next book I read was Legends and Lattes by uh, Travis uh, Baltry. Um, this book has been really popular on BookTube, and uh, you know, kind of wanted to check it out to see what the hype was about. And I can certainly see why this is uh, popular. Uh, the problem I had with it is it, it does some things that modern fantasy has kind of started to do that uh, I don't particularly care for. Um, and I just, this story's fine. Um, and I did enjoy reading it. I gave this book three stars and it's well worth checking out. The next book I finished was The Iron Maiden. This is the sixth and final book in his bio of a Space Tyrant series. Um, this book follows the point of view of Spirit, Hope's sister. Um, Hope was the main character, the point of view character in the uh, first five novels. The biggest problem that I had with this novel is, is that it, it's mostly a recap of the first five books. Now, there are some sections where Spirit kind of goes off on her own, and those are the most interesting parts of the book. Unfortunately, there's just not enough of that. Um, this book is interesting in the fact that uh, if you only wanted to read one book of uh, the series, I mean, this book isn't a bad one to actually just read and see if you would like the uh, series as a whole. I will mention, though, that uh, there is something in the first five books that uh, uh, will get spoiled early on in this book if you uh, read this book first. I gave this book three stars, and it is a fitting conclusion to the series. The next book I read was Second Foundation uh, by Isaac Asimov. This is the third book in his uh, Foundation trilogy. Um, this one actually took me a while to get through, uh, mostly just because I was busy with uh, everyday stuff. But uh, And I enjoyed this one about the same as I did enjoy the second one. Again, it's more slow pace, more kind of... Uh, uh, political intrigue. Uh, there's definitely some clever writing in this, and uh, it was interesting for me to revisit uh, the Foundation trilogy because I read it for the first time back when I was in college, and uh, I really enjoyed it then. On this reread, uh, and as I've been through my Asimov uh, kind of project, it's not really Asimov's best work, these three books. Um, again, I enjoyed them, but uh, there are works of his that I enjoyed more. Uh, I did give uh, Second Foundation four stars. Before I reveal the last book of the month, don't you hate it when somebody that you regularly watch reviews a book that you absolutely love and they give it a lukewarm review? Like when a certain popular booktuber gave Watership Down four stars, I was kind of disappointed in that. Or when that same famous booktuber has a book battle and Isaac Asimov loses in the first round every single time. It's kind of disappointing to see. So the next book that uh, I'm going to talk about was actually a buddy read with my fiance, And this is one of her favorite books. 
The book is One Second After by William Fortune. Um, I actually first heard about this book uh, from Dwayne on Flipping Pages, and I'll link his channel and the video where he talked about it in the description below. The channel has been active for a while, but uh, I do want to give a shout out to him uh, for mentioning the book because I bought a copy of it. And uh, when I started dating my fiance, she mentioned uh, the book and actually tried to give me her copy of it. I was like, huh, I already have a copy of it, but uh, at some point we'll buddy read it together. So we finally got around to doing it. And uh, I did enjoy this book. I, I gave this book four stars. It's a very fast paced read. Um, the first 150 pages, especially, just flew by. Uh, it has a really great beginning. It kind of gets a little bit slower in the middle. And then the end, there's something that I don't want to get into spoilers, but I was kind of disappointed by something that happened in the middle. Or I'm sorry, I was kind of disappointed by something that happened toward the end of the novel. Um, and then the story itself, um, th there's just something that doesn't quite sit right with me. Again, I don't want to get into spoilers. Um, now, this book is uh, actually sort of a retelling of one of my all-time favorites. Um, it's called A Last Babylon uh, by Pat Frank. And that the A Last Babylon deals with a uh, nuclear attack on the United States back in the 50s. This book uh, deals with uh, an electromagnetic pulse attack on the United States in about the 2010s. And overall, I think uh, the author did a very good job kind of modernizing the story. Um, but because I've read A Last Babylon so many times, I can definitely see the similarities uh, between the two novels and even the plot of the two novels. Um, and again, I may be biased, but A lot, Alas, Babylon's one of my all-time favorites. And I think the book suffers a little bit from comparison to that story. So again, I gave it four stars. I did really enjoy it. I mean, if I gave out half stars, I would strongly consider giving this four and a half stars. And I'm looking forward to reading uh, the sequel two sequels with my fiance, who hopefully is still my fiance after watching this video because, you know, I gave her one of her favorite uh, novels, Four Stars. Now, that's the end of my book reviews for this video. I do have one other review that I want to talk about, but the subject matter might be offensive to some people. You know how some people are, they just, you know, they, they get triggered really, really easily. And, uh, yeah, I just want to give you fair warning uh, before I review uh, this next item. It's actually a product. So I was in the store one day and I saw cotton candy with a candy corn flavor. And I was intrigued. I was like, hmm, I've got to try this. And so I did. And as you can tell, the, the container's empty. I did enjoy it. Um, it does have that classic candy corn taste. Uh, without, you know, maybe the waxiness that some people for some strange reason object to. Um, now, I'm not crazy about uh, cotton candy, uh, so I'd actually rather have candy corn. But, you know, if you like cotton candy and you like candy corn, like any normal sane person would, would do, you should give this a try if you see it in the store. Thank you for watching this video. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.